my name is Elizabeth Murphy, and I live at 10590 Fallis Road in Loveland. Um, and I'm here to talk about the project that Andy just described. I'm a member of the GRAIL, um, which, as you know, is an international women's organization. And for over 70 years, the women of the GRAIL have tended this particular Grailville land. And uh, we've had the privilege um, and the pleasure of protecting it and caring for it um, as a small piece of God's creation. It's been a wonderful thing. We've also had the pleasure of sharing it with the public. The peace and the natural beauty is really a wonderful thing. It's important to the grail that these values carry forward in the future of this land. And uh, we realize that Cardinal Conservancy's mission is very much in harmony with the Grail's mission in this way. And so we feel that they would be good stewards of this land going forward. Um, and obviously their track record speaks for them. Um, and we also look forward to having them as a neighbor um, that corner of the world, the synergy between Cardinal and the Grail and the Claremont County Parks looks to be a very exciting thing. So I would hope that you'd be able to support this resolution for Cardinal. Uh, thank you. Thank you. <coughs> there was Southern Ham. Okay. My name is Ken Davis. I have been visiting Fort Mitchell, Kentucky for the last 30 years, but I grew up in Loveland. And you, you can't take Loveland out of the boy. Um, I am the vice president of the Loveland Museum Center, formerly known as the Loveland, uh, Greater Loveland Historic Society. And we, at our board meeting last week with my fellow board member, Mark Crum, um, we all love Grailville. And I do especially because I was aware of it at an early age. My family moved there in 1957. Grail was already started. My memory started sometime after that. But I was always aware it was a really special place because I read the Loveland Herald every Thursday when it came out. And there were always articles about conferences coming in, scholarly things taking place as I got a little bit older and a little bit mobile. I could go with my sister and her friends and we would visit the telephone pole art field down in the lower area, which was just the coolest thing besides the castle in Loveland, but, but always just had a great reverence for good work that was going on there. I, I was raised Presbyterian, but had a lot of Catholic neighbors and some of the women in my neighborhood, uh, the moms in the neighborhood, I knew were involved with that and uh, had the good fortune to attend a wedding in the late 60s in the oratory of a, a family friend and uh, have been out there for uh, conferences in the oratory when uh, we did strategic planning and the Ohio History Connection came down. It, it is a fabulous community partner. I, I wish our records at the Museum Center included the Loveland Heralds from the early 40s, but unfortunately they stopped printing the paper during the war. And that was the time that land was first purchased. I'd love to know who all was involved in that. And, and again, just just a, a, a great, great story. Um, I, I When I heard about the development that was maybe gonna take place a couple of years ago, uh, you know, you pray for what you want. Um, I would just say, Cardinal, is my answer prayer. And I think it's just a, a perfect thing to come to save something so that my my parents took my kids there on weekends a lot in and around Loveland, and I'm sure they made it to Grayleville too. And I would so like to take my grandkids there. So, sorry. Right, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Good morning, commissioners. My name is Jamie Smith. I've lived in Loveland in Claremont County my entire life. I've raised five sons in an old house on Cedar Drive. 
I have a very deep connection to my hometown and my family's favorite place in Loveland is Grailville. Unfortunately, I have a stressful lifestyle. I've raised my sons a great majority of the time as a single mother. Their father has struggled with opioid addiction his entire adult life. The experience of addiction within a family is traumatizing. One of the most direct effects of drug addiction is the financial havoc that it wreaks on a family. I've had to maintain a full-time and at least two or three additional part-time jobs for my son's entire lives. I've obtained work in fields where I could spend my days and summers with my children to alleviate the need for childcare, to be a good mother and a contributing member of society. I designed my life around spending time in nature with my kids, not only because it was all that we could afford, but because it was healthy and fulfilling and it brought joy to a mentally and emotionally exhausted family. We couldn't afford memberships at Normandy Swim Club or Miami Hills Pool, but we did take our feet and walk out of a house with a broken air conditioning unit across the street and onto the trails that led to Grailville. We entered the cool woods and trekked down Grailville's paths across the meadows, past the farmland, back into the forest and down to the respite of the waters of the O'Banion Creek. We floated our stress away in the creek and then whistled our worries away on the way home, just in time to get to work. The relationship that we developed with this land as a family has been spiritual and therapeutic. Grailville has provided my children a higher quality of life than was otherwise available to them. I am forever grateful that a private land-owning organization was happy to share its blessings. Those blessings were able to be imbued into the community as the fruit of the work and the purpose of the members of the Grail. I now work in Claremont County in elementary education with behavioral needs students. I see the result of holistic approaches to mental wellness in my daily work. Nature heals. The benefits to humanity from exposure to natural areas are diverse. The, they include health benefits such as optimum nervous system functioning, well-balanced heart conditions, better vision, lower BMI, less fatigue and obesity related issues. But the wellness benefits spill over into mental health wellness and that directly affects our communities, making them a better place to live with less crime and greater levels of cooperation. Exposure to nature lends human beings better emotional regulation and even improved cognitive performance. Time in nature helps improve suffering from depression and reduces stress levels. It increases problem solving skills and creativity. But beyond the blessings that this precious green space has gifted my family and can offer to others, there's an even greater good that this space can do in helping to heal our planet. Grailville is the last expansive bit of farmland left in Loveland that has not been developed. The size of Grailville is imperative to the issue of area sensitivity, which is a term related to the notion that a variety of wildlife requires a certain amount of area to thrive. If the landmass on the south side of Grailville is conserved, it is substantial enough in connection to the north side to create a significant impact on wildlife especially grassland bird species. In addition to the ecological benefits related to biodiversity, a natural area's viewshed has its own intrinsic value. Compromising the natural pastoral viewshed of Grailville would have an irreversible effect. The risk of losing this natural area to development, if it's not conserved, are too many to count, and they would be permanent losses. Our group of impassioned citizens has been working for over a year Dedicating our time to working with the women of the Grail, we sought to help offer them assistance in finding a way towards a better solution that was more suited to their values than selling the land for development. We found the perfect match for a new steward of the land in Cardinal Land Conservancy. Cardinal had long been aware of the value that the land at Grailville held for the community. When our group approached Cardinal to ask for assistance and to pledge robust community support, they knew with their professional experience that the right conditions existed for the possibility to seek purchase, restoration, and stewardship of the land. Once Cardinal developed their plan for moving forward, we citizens had the opportunity to ask our Loveland City Council to be part of something visionary and brilliant that will last for the human beings that will inhabit this space. Now Claremont County has the chance to establish a precedent for other counties where we made a bright decision in choosing to conserve the long-term value of this land. Green space is a solid financial investment. I implore you to pass the resolution to allow Cardinal to apply for state funding for the purchase of the land that the Grail wishes to sell them. Grailville is a sacred place with countless attributes and possibilities, and Cardinal is the organization that can care for and protect it in perpetuity. 
Cardinal can keep the torch of the Grail lit on the south side of the property, while the Grail carries on their noble mission of stewardship, service, and education across the street. Thank you. Anyone else? Yes, sir. Mark Crum, 161 Overlook Drive, Loveland. Um, I'm also on the board of the Loveland Historical Society. Um, I'd like to note that my family goes back in the United States to 1630, and that my third great grandfather was Stephen Bartlett Loveland. Um, I'm on the board and I photograph all old houses in the Loveland area that are 100 years or older. And we only have four Victorians. And if we lose Grailville or the House of Joy, we're down to three. And that's history. Um, I would like to note that history in America is important. But to retain is that if it isn't important, we wouldn't have museums and historical societies across the United States. Our history cannot survive on just my photos of Loveland. We need physical structures to show the nature of tomorrow uh, show our nation uh, of tomorrow the history that we've created. Every old building in itself is a separate museum. Claremont County itself is history. Claremont County was founded as payments to veterans for the Revolutionary War, and George Washington owned three lots. Claremont County is also the birthplace of the first president of, of Ohio, Ulysses S. Grant. And I feel that it's important to save the building. Thank you. Thank you. There's a lady in the back. Hello, my name is Karen Arnett, and my address is 7373 Hickman Street in Mount Healthy, Ohio. So I'm not you know, a Loveland resident, I don't live adjacent to the property, but in 1990, I came to Cincinnati as a freight pilot. I was flying out of Lincoln, and I ended up uh, spending a year and a half at Grailville in 1992 and 93. There was a program that they offered, and I took time to participate, and then I, I stayed on, quit my flying job, and I worked on farm and garden there. Um, while I was there, I saw hundreds of people coming through for programs. Uh, people who came back year after year for sequential programs. I, I met so many women who were part of the grail of that generation who uh, had lived there for a year as young Catholic women in the 40s and 50s and 60s. Um, Grailville really changed my life. And as a 30-some-year resident of Cincinnati, I know so many people. I believe there are thousands of people who whose lives were really improved by their connection with Grailville. It's not just the land. The land is so important. But there was something about what the Grail as an organization imparted to that land. There was a sense of sacredness almost that they you know, established there. It wasn't just like going to a farm. And I feel that um, I just really encourage you to pass the resolution to help Cardinal acquire those remaining acres because I think there are just so many people who, for whom Grailville as an intact 300 acre, uh, you know, green space really represents something so important in their consciousness. And I know that it will positively affect future generations as well. Um, the fact that the Grail office is right across the street, you know, it adds something. So it's not just simply green space, but it's green space with this incredible history of uh, an organization that was focusing on core human values, you know, of caring and justice and sustainability. So uh, thank you for, you know, listening to me. I encourage you to endorse the Cardinal's acquisition of the, or applying for the grant. Thank you, Karen. Any more? Yes, sir. Morning, commissioners. My name is Dave Stanton. I live at 208 Century Hill Drive in Loveland. Let's explore the positive economic impacts to Claremont County with the Grail land becoming a dedicated green space managed by Cardinal Conservancy. The goal of the Loveland area, including Claremont County, is to work towards becoming a designated travel location for the tri-state and Midwest. 
Currently, we have two layer, two of the three layers for a designation travel location with Little Miami River and the Loveland Bike Trail. The addition of the Grail Land as a nature preserve with passive rec recreation in correlation to the existing Grailville Claremont County Park District will complete the third layer for this area. The addition of the nature preserve will have an economic impact in several different aspects. The first is enhanced property values. This will be realized with additional property values in the surrounding areas associated with additional property taxes in the existing with existing home resell and new builds. The increase in recreational tourism value would be realized in home, hotel stays, dining experiences, and entertainment with sales tax increases within the Claremont County area across Loveland and Milford. The unique correlation between a valued lifestyle and tourism drawing card with this nature preserve will be a direct benefit to Claremont County. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Hi, good morning. My name is Colleen Fury and I live at 112 Bears Creek Court. Our neighborhood, our backyards butt up against the Grail property. And so I'm just here to say that um, in the past we have seen how vibrant this community is and that we're really excited at the opportunity to have that energy brought back as a place to learn and to grow mind, body, and soul. We've heard all of that in our fast paced world. We need these places to go. Um, so I urge you to approve this and know that the neighbors will be in support of it too. Thank you. Anyone else? Yes, sir. Good morning. Uh, <clears throat> my name is Kevin Kiley. I live at 1221 Ritzwood Drive, and I want to thank you for considering the resolution to support the Grail and Cardinal Land Conservancy. Uh, my wife and I uh, are two-time residents of Loveland. When we first moved here from Miami, Florida, we were overwhelmed by the trees throughout Loveland. Uh, it gave us an immediate peace and felt so unlike the stressfully overcrowded concrete community we were moving from. We had found our place to call home and to raise a family. Uh, work moved us away and back again to Cincinnati years later. Uh, we honestly tried to choose a different town, but in the end, uh, the trees brought us back to Loveland. That was 10 years ago. Uh, our property shares a border with the Claremont County Nature Preserve, uh, which was purchased from the Grail several years back. I have the unique privilege of walking out my back door and into nature every single day. Uh, ironically, the thought hadn't even occurred to us until COVID hit, uh, when after months of lockdowns and social distancing, we ventured out into the forest in desperation for unstifled physical exercise and recreation. Uh, this became a ritual. The trails we tended behind our house became a sanctuary from the stress and anxiety of the world where we could breathe deeply, listen to the sound of the trees and immerse ourselves in nature. Studies have found that being surrounded by green spaces is profoundly healing cognitively, emotionally and physically. Spending time outdoors improves sleep quality by resetting circadian rhythms. It lowers the probability of cardiovascular disease, obesity, and asthma ho hospitalization in adults. Exposure to green spaces showed a decrease in blood glucose levels in patients with type 2 diabetes after a forest walk. Child obesity is reduced by breaking sedentary habits and allowing them unstructured free time. It is also shown to improve eyesight by reducing screen time and artificial light. <coughs> Natural spaces relieve attention fatigue, aid recovery, and bolster creativity and problem solving skills. A national study in the US found that green outdoor activities, no matter the setting, reduce symptoms significantly more than did activities uh, conducted indoors. This is true regardless of socioeconomic groups, age, and gender. Doctors are increasingly prescribing nature as an alternative to traditional medicine. Uh, studies have shown that spending as little as 20 minutes a day in nature is associated with good health and well being. At a time when there is an obesity epidemic and a mental health crisis, we can't afford to lose more natural spaces. 
Walking in a forest inspires a sense of awe and wonder, boosting happiness and morale. This simple act has been found to have a positive impact on mental, emotional, and cognitive health. My mom, who is 82 years old and still active, says that gardening is her Prozac. There is scientific truth in what she says. The act of being in nature reduces our stress response, cortisol levels, muscle tension, blood pressure, and heart rate. It is also associated with decreased activity in the rumination center of our brain and can reduce depression and other forms of mental illnesses. Is preserving green space for a healthy community just a fad? I would argue that it's just common sense. Vegetation in urban parks clean the air of pollutants and allow us to breathe deeply while providing ourselves and our children a safe place to explore the natural world. This proposal would double the current area of protected green space in Loveland and Miami Township to almost 200 acres. Please vote yes and give the Grail and Cardinal a chance to protect this land forever and to make it accessible to our community and to future generations. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, sir. Hi, Jeff Mullins, uh, Loveland resident. Um, just wanted to say what an opportunity this is. We've just heard the economic benefits, the health benefits, the historical benefits, environmental benefits. This is such an opportunity. If it wasn't for the stewardship of the grail, this land would be developed and be miles of suburban homes on top of another, which is not unique to anywhere in the world. We have a great opportunity here in Claremont County to put to put to get a win, 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 a win for the landowner who is looking for a a, a solution that would give them a, a a new path forward that would provide a uh, honor their legacy and and also compensate them financially. It's a win for the land for the land because it's going to be keep the ecosystem intact, and it's a it's a win for Claremont County and the citizens of Loveland and Miami Township. With zero cost to the county, how could you say no? <laughs> That's it. What a closure that was. <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> Just so you know, we do have a public hearing at 11. I don't know how many more want to speak. <coughs> On your 30 minutes. Okay. Yes. You have a 30 minute left. public participate. Okay. And we have time. Be fast. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm Lori Kiley. I live in Loveland. I'm here to read a letter from uh, a member who was not able to join us here today. Uh, the letter is from David Bankhauser, PhD, professor of biology and chemistry, retired from the University of Cincinnati Claremont College. Uh, the title of his letter is, We Have a Chance to Preserve Grailville for Future Generations. At a time when we see forested areas rapidly disappearing, especially in Claremont County, and climate disruption due, to par due in part to deforestation heating up the earth, there has never been a more important time to preserve the remaining forests and green space. Preserving existing forest and undeveloped spaces is so much more valuable than creating new green spaces. This is because they contain an existing ecosystem a natural web of plants and animals which are native to and adapted to that environment. Preservation of the Grailville space is valuable, not just because of its irreplaceable eco ecological riches, um, but because of its spiritual roots, which penetrate deep within the community, both secular and religious. I have personally participated in several activities and retreats at Grailville, which created strong positive memories for me. These include both spiritual retreats and also as a UC professor of biology and chemistry. Several retreats sponsored by the University of Cincinnati at which issues facing the university were discussed and working plans developed. The safe, spiritual, and ecological environment encouraged such productive activities. I urge in the strongest of possible terms that every step be taken to preserve this special place, to protect it from economic and commercial development and make it a place for safe retreat for our children and generations to come. If we allow its dismemberment, a good letter. <laughs> if we allow its dismemberment 
and destruction. It can never be replaced. Can I ask you his address? Did he? You could have a whole copy. Okay, thank, <laughs> thank you. you. Anyone else? My name is Sharon Scovanner, and I live at 155 Overlook Drive, and I will try to be brief. I, I appreciate your time and attention today. The future of sacred land owned by the Grail is at risk, but with your help, we can honor the desire of the Grail to choose a buyer for their land that is pleasing to their members, aligns with their values, and benefits the citizens of Claremont County. You have all received an email from me as a founding member of the Grailville Land Preservation Group. Out of respect for your time, I will not repeat the text of that email here, but know that not only is it the desire of the Grail to allow Cardinal Land Conservancy the opportunity to purchase their land using Clean Ohio grant funding, it is also the desire of the community. Community members have worked tirelessly to help facilitate a solution that is good for all parties involved. The Clean Ohio grant deadline is fast approaching and it's imperative that you join unanimous votes by Loveland City Council and the Miami Township trustees in passing a resolution in support of the grant application. By, vote, by voting yes, you will be voting to, one, allow the Grail to sell their property to the buyer of their choice, two, preserve land and buildings with deep history to the Grail women and making it available for public use. Three, support Loveland City Council and Miami Township in their desire to preserve the land. Four, allow Cardinal to work with the Claremont County Park District, enhancing their land by creating 200 acres of contigu contiguous habitat for animals and native plants. Five, create additional green space for public use including hiking and passive recreation, which is a goal stated in Loveland's comprehensive master plan. Six, help Cardinal create natural learning spaces and curriculum for students. Seven, eliminate infrastructure burdens on taxpayers through lower density. Eight, contribute to the health and well-being of local residents and visitors, creating a hub for outdoor recreation when coupled with the bike trail in the Little Miami River. Nine, provide a permanent designation of open space for future generations. With your approval, Cardinal Land Conservancy can use, ex use ex its experience and resources to protect the land for future generations. Thank you in advance for your support. Thank you.